Hi, how are you? <laughs> oh, they just said 222 when I said that. 222, trust that everything is working out exactly as it's supposed to with divine blessings for everyone involved. Let go and have faith. Quit being a control freak. Okay. So, Mary Magdalene wants to come out for your general message today. All right, Mary, what do you have to say to us? Universal Christ. Okay, here I'll put it here. Okay, Universal Christ, what's that gotta say to us? Okay, the emptiness you presently feel is helping you reconnect to aspects of your nature that you've kept repressed for some time. Let go of all the distractions that surround you at present and bring your awareness within. In the empty spaces of your solitude, you will find a hidden treasure. This is a period of profound self-discovery. You need only listen to the whispers inside your heart. Ask yourself what it is, tr what it is you truly want from life. And remember that when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make leads to an outcome which necessarily which is necessary for you to grow in love and wisdom. You will emerge from this phase with a clearer direction for your life. As a result of this, some of your relationships are likely to go through major changes. Relationships that no longer serve you may come to an end, while others become stronger and more meaningful. Trust the inner guidance you receive. Okay, so I feel like you just need to go listen to your third eye like meditate on some of these answers you guys are looking for so this is really an opportune time to be like you guys have been praying effectively you guys have been you know doing your affirmations and things like that I feel for the most part many of you are trying to stay positive and doing all that but not so many of you are actually sitting down and listening for the answers some of you lack confidence in listening to your own intuition and guidance. Um, I have a video called, um, I, it's, it has says something about Divine Guidance Council in the name. If you put in Amy Satori and then Divine Guidance Council, you can learn how to hold a council um, and you can build your confidence that way. Okay, council meeting, not council, well, whatever, same thing. Okay, masculines. It's a good time to give birth to new ideas and situations in your life. I'm watching over you, guiding you, and protecting you during these changes. Well, there you go. So don't be afraid of these changes. You got to you gotta trust your gut and go with it. Roll with it, baby. Okay. Um, and feminines. Fairies. Sun. Your son is watched over and protected as he explores his world. <laughs> Okay, so that's interesting. Okay, let me see here. Interesting. I feel like there's like um, oh, uh, oh, that's interesting. That's really interesting. Some of you have actually been your divine masculine's mother. <laughs> <laughs> in a past life huh. so you might be tempted to feel kind of motherly over him as a result but they're asking you to just trust him to develop on his own in this life that's obviously not going to fit all of you but they're like let him build confidence I feel like frog spirit is here too I need to read frog spirit I know that's kind of creepy, but you know, that's how life, that's how, that's how these things work. Okay, frog. Past lives are just weird. Frog, 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 frog. Spirit, 85. Whoa, what? Again? Clear out the clutter again? 
Feminines, frog spirit knows that while all the frogs are croaking away, this is a time for you to simplify and declutter your life so you can feel content on your own lily pad. Even when life isn't creating a total, um, I don't know what that word is, cacophony, um, we can become drawn to the excitement of lots of noise. Then the next thing we know, our schedules and homes are cluttered with uh, commitments we regret making and objects taking up valuable space. Even relationships need de decluttering as they often become messy. Frog spirit uh, appears to tell you to clean house, prioritize what you need and get rid of or give away the rest so you can have some space in your, in your day and in your head. You don't need the old stuff and its stories shouting at you about the past. Along with the physical clutter, friendships are sometimes kept long past their expiration date, weighing you down. And we, I just said that a couple days ago that you guys, you guys sometimes give people too many chances. You need to learn to like see the red flags early and get rid of people who aren't treating you right. Don't keep them around. You know, just like you settle in relationships, you can settle in friendships too. Don't do that because it'll start really weighing you down and bringing your energy down down. Um, and if you were wondering about a certain friend as I'm reading this, now is the time to let go of that person. Whatever you need will appear when you need it. So release your grip on all that clutter uh, that's making you feel anxious and burdened. Um, it warns you, it wants you to reclaim your space unencumbered by shoulds, oughts, and, and could have beens. Let go and jump. You're free from all that old stuff. What's weighing you down? Is it time for a spiritual and psychic cleansing? Ooh, maybe we need to do a clearing on you guys. Are you overdue for letting go of the voices that surround you? They may have started to get into your head, these voices that bog you down and keep you from leaping forward into a better situation. Let others croak and create their dramas while you make space for yourself and for hearing your own thoughts as they arise. Declutter your schedule and stop trying to do it um, all the time all to try to stop, stop trying to do it all and then some let others manage their own baggage rather than allowing it to be dumped on you for your lily pad needs to be clean and others of others clutter um it's also bearing a message about your physical space do you hold on to things because you're afraid of losing your energetic connection to the past to people who are no longer in your life or to goals you never pursued or could you have have these items around because you would feel guilty if you got rid of them are your storage and living spaces stuffed with reminders of what you are not when they should be holding on to holding only to objects that reflect who you are and aspire to be if something is not no longer making you feel joyful empowered and excited frog spirit is telling you to let it go and free yourself to leap forward into something new trusting you will always have what you need wow i just feel like those who didn't let go of something a few days ago you're getting reminded you're giving you that was a little more of an in-depth message to let go let go of whatever that is let go of the old and allow the new to come in with your masculine um i feel like also this thing about your son obviously some of you have sons who've passed away who are helping your connection as well i also feel like a warning to don't to not be overly controlling and overly motherly to your masculine like maybe you've been kind of a fisher wife before to other relationships and you need not nag your masculine in this relationship. Um, instead, listen to your intuition and your insights when spirit kind of gives you a little warning like, hey, lay off, then you need to listen to that. You're navigating this new relationship or soon will be, but they're just encouraging you to listen to the voice of the angels rather than listening to the little devil and the ego on your shoulder that might want to be right or might want to be overly controlling or overly concerned about stuff that's none of your business. All right, so the message both of you need to hear right now is let your friends help you, the good friends. <laughs> Ask for and accept support from others who are like-minded, who you can talk to about this crazy nonsense about true love and they actually believe you and they actually support it. Instead of telling you that you're crazy and you need to get rid of this person who has totally ghosted you. Because he's about to <clears throat> come forward. You guys are about to go into a new life. And you want to, you know, you want to have those friends with you or by your side who are going to help you put on that wedding dress and, <laughs> you know, help you look uh, at different things that they can predict or see for you in your future and kind of help you 
um, navigate to a successful conclusion of you guys being able to come together and, and live that happy life. They can help you stay authentic and true to yourself as well. So how beautiful is that? Okay, one more. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. And what's funny is when you enjoy this moment fully, you are tapped into your intuition completely. As you live life moment to moment, in the moment, then you have this intuitive guidance that comes through and speaks loud and clear as to next steps to take. Ooh, I also felt like some of some of you have an unborn son, an unborn son that is bringing this connection together intuitively as well. So let him lead you. Definitely declutter. Don't put that off anymore if you have been. Okay, have a beautiful day. Talk to you tomorrow. Hey, if you like my videos, please share, subscribe, and set your bell notifications on so you'll know the moment they come out. Also, don't forget that you can go to my website and order a personal reading at amysatori.com forward slash services. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day.